Hello and welcome back. My name is Shelmel. Leia's currently having a snooze. And that's right, Mel's Lounge is going Nuzlocke style with Pokemon Heart Gold. So excited. So, back on my first channel, I did a Fire Red Nuzlocke. And then that's when some of the evil students found me. And. Yeah, I kind of hit that channel. So, I had this ready and wearing to go then. And when I say ready and wearing, I mean I had the graphics all made to go around the video and all that sort of stuff. I just never got as far as recording. Um, but I've decided I'm going to take a little break from Sonic and we're going to do a Nuzlocke. Because Nuzlocke is the only way to play. So, pretty excited. It's been a while since I've played a Pokemon game. So we'll have to see how my layout goes with having the big screen in the middle as you can see and then the little one off to the side is the bottom screen. Um, so fingers crossed everything is all good. So let's get started. Alright, so just for transparency sake, Yes, I'm playing this as a ROM. I do actually own Soul Silver. Um, but for the sake of recording and that being easy and simple, um, I decided to play this as a ROM. Alright, so now we meet the Pokemon Professor! Otherwise known as Professor Oak, because no one really calls him the Pokemon Professor. Ever. Alright, now because he's not wearing his spectacles, we've got to tell him if we're a boy or a girl. In just a moment. Oh, gotta meet his little Pokemon friend first. Yep, we play together. We sometimes battle and have close bonds and all that sort of stuff. Whatever. Alright, boy or girl time. Alright, I did get my hair cut today, but I am definitely a girl, because my hair is extremely short. Yep, I selected yes. Alright, now for our name. In my Firebred Nuzlocke, I was named Raphael, because red and shell, Raphael of course, is the only natural conclusion. With this one, I went down a slightly different path of looking up heart or gold shells and seeing what sort of names could come out of that and so when i was doing that there's actually a heart shell with a scientific name named core Cardissa. cardissa and i'm like core cora of course you know avatar love avatar so i thought we could be named for this first one cora Yep. Ready for our journey? Ah, oh, so excited. I love Pokemon so much. Oh, now he is tiny and chippy. Oh, one of the downsides to the to starting off any game is the slow walk. Oh. We have Mum waiting for us downstairs. Yes. Oh, I have a friend named Ethan. And he's playing hide and seek with his Pokemon. And Professor Elm's looking for us. He's going to ask us a favour. Alright, so she's given us a bag, a trainer card which we need. And, saving is important, 
options are good because we need to change this text speed. All right, so. All right, first things first before we look at the ID. Now, as per Nuzlocke rules, we don't choose our starter. Our starter is based on the last digit of our ID number. So if it's 1 to 3, we'll have a Chikorita. If it's 4 to 6, we'll have a Cyndaquil. And if it's 7 to 9, we'll have a Todadar. So, moment of truth, who do we have? We have a 5. We're getting a Cyndaquil. Dun, 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 dun. Excellent, I can roll with that. And now to change some options. Because we want faster speed. And I reckon that one will do to go with our heart gold style. Very nice, very pretty. All right, now to step out into the outside world. Oh. Ooh, that must be Ethan. Aww. He doesn't even come over and say hi. What a jerk. Alright, so. Oh, someone's peeping in a window. Oh, yeah, I know whose house this is. So, this is the lab. I'm not staring at anything, I'm just wondering what you're doing there. Alright. Pretty sure we would know about Pokeballs, considering that's all what this world is about. <gasps> Gonna give us a Pokemon! Oh, phone call. Mr. Pokemon. I love that that ringtone was for an email, not a phone call. Alright. Alright, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. Alright. I can work with that. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. Alright, so as for our slot rolls, we need to give it a nickname. So, we have a boy Cyndaquil. You know what? I reckon this Cyndaquil is a rough top. Sort of a kidna style thing. So, we're going to name him Knuckles. He's going to keep me safe as we go out into the wild world, just as Sam did in the first one. Knuckles. Yes, that is the nickname I want to give. Oh, he's so cute! I'm just going to pause here for a quick second to make sure everything is recording fine. Alright, confirm nothing is jittery, jittery or stuttering because I found out what was going on. Oh, wrong button. Let's have a look at our Pokemon. Found out what was wrong with a lot of the stuff going on with my videos. It's just a basic setting. No, Such a cutie. Has good endurance. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go start our adventure with Knuckles.
We have potions, that's always good news when you go into a Nuzlocke. Oh, the little Meryl. Heavily hinted we should go see Mum. Sneezed. I can't wait until we get running shoes. Thankfully, from memory, this happens pretty quickly. Alright. Mum, meet Knuckles. Aha! Now we can call people. Yes, I know how. Alrighty. Now to go get find Mr. Pokemon. Now those little black dots that keep showing up on the screen, I apologise, it's the ROM. Don't know why, but whatever. I'm sure in time we won't even notice them. Alright, we got our first number. Alright, now, traditional Nuzlocke rules sedate the first Pokemon we encounter in the area. Once acquiring Pokeballs is the only Pokemon we can catch unless it's the same species as one we already have. So, we do not have Pokeballs, so that does not start for us just yet, but it will. First Pokemon battle. Alright, so what's in this area? Alright, so sentries are in this area. Sentrex. Oh, little Knuckles. So cute. Alright, go Knuckles, go, tackle. That wasn't very nice. Oh no, it's identified us. Thankfully, we're not a ghost. A slow walk to the next town. Okay, made it one piece. To Cherry Grove City. Rookie trainer? I suppose. Oh. I can't move. I forgot you weren't wearing the running shoes. <laughs> I'll try and move as slow as possible. So we have our Pokey Center. We have our market. Where we can't get Pokeballs just yet. The route that we need to go on.
do see. Well, that guy just kind of stares at the town. <laughs> and now we can run! Yes, now we can run. Now we run so fast, he is out of breath. Ah, the guide gent is very kind. He provides us with shoes and maps. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll get things, so just get that. Potions are good. Oh, we've got to talk to the Acar man. Yes. No. I don't care. Alright, there was a green one here. Baby Pidgey. Oh, wrong button. Almost made it. Oh, that was a crit. Come on, Knuckles, you can do it. That is one determined Pidgey. Yeah, level up. Ooh. Antidotes are always good, especially in a nice lot. So. Because we're still gonna keep pressing that wrong button now. Let's move that. Alright. Just because we've still got a ways to go to get to the Pokemon. Mr. Pokemon's house. What do you have to say? Oh, stronger pitchy. Ooh, we don't do a lot of damage at all to this.
Oh, we do about the same. Aha, missed. Aha, and we crit. Aha. Ooh, nearly another level. I mean, we don't want to get too strong yet, or else we'll kill any new possible friends. We don't want to do that. Alright, so we'll get the speed cake on, and I think we're going to call it a day. So, thank you so much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, and I will see you next time where we talk to Mr. Pokemon. Bye!